हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज अर्थ क्वेक्स अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अर्थ क्वेक्स थियोरीज बिहाइंड अर्थ क्वेक्स बॉडी वेव्स सरफेस वेव्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इफेक्ट ऑफ अर्थ क्वेक्स एंड अर्थ क्वेक जोन इन इंडिया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अर्थ क्वेक्स अर्थ क्वेक्स आर सिंपली द शेकिंग ऑफ द अर्थ it happens when two blocks of the earth suddenly slip past one another the surface where they slip is called the fault or fault plane focus or hypocenter is the location below the earth's surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter or focus epicenter the location directly above the focus on the surface of the earth is called the epicenter Seismographs are instruments used to record the motion of the ground during an earthquake. The first seismograph was developed in 1890. Richter scale, it is an open-ended logarithmic scale which measures the magnitude of an earthquake, which means the energy released by an earthquake. Marcelli scale, Marcelli scale is based on the observable earthquake damage. It is an intensity scale. The magnitude scale example richter scale is based on seismic records where the mersali is based on observable data which can be subjective thus the magnitude scale is considered scientifically more objective and therefore more accurate now moving on to theories behind earthquakes first is elastic rebound theory the elastic rebound theory is an explanation for how energy is spread during earthquakes crust and lithosphere are capable of bearing certain stress to a point beyond which the crust deforms and breaks eventually at that time a sudden movement occurs along the fault releasing the accumulated energy and the rocks snap back to their original undeformed shape plate tectonic explanation the earth's surface is active according to tectonic theory moving as much as 1 to 2 inches a year The many tectonic plates shift and interact all the time. This motion reshapes the earth's outer layer. Earthquakes, volcanoes and mountains are the result of this process. Intermediate and deep focus earthquakes are almost entirely limited to ocean floor subduction. Now let's discuss about body waves. Snapping of the lithosphere creates waves. body waves are generated at the focus due to the release of energy and travel through the body of the earth these are of two types p waves and s waves p waves move faster and arrive at the surface first that's why they are called p waves or primary waves they can travel through gaseous solid and liquid medium primary waves or p waves are compressional waves that are longitudinal in nature S waves or secondary waves are also called shear or transverse waves. It moves the particles of solid media perpendicular to the direction of propagation. S waves can only travel through solid medium. Surface waves. One kind of surface wave is called a love wave, named after British mathematician A E H Love. Love waves causes horizontal shifting of the earth during an earthquake. The amplitude is largest at the surface and diminishes with greater depth. The other kind of surface wave is the Rayleigh wave. The Rayleigh wave rolls along the ground with a more complex motion than love waves. Because it rolls, it moves the ground up and down and forward and backward in the direction that the wave is moving. Most of the shaking felt from an earthquake is due to the Rayleigh wave which can be much larger than the other waves. Now let's discuss about distribution around the world. Distribution of earthquakes coincide with certain regions. Circum Pacific Belt. It is also called Ring of Fire or Pacific Ring of Fire. The Circum Pacific Seismic Belt is found along the rim of the Pacific Ocean where about 81% of our planet's largest earthquakes occur. The belt exists along boundaries of tectonic plates where plates of mostly oceanic crust are sinking beneath another plate. Earthquakes in these subduction zones are caused by slip between plates and rupture within plates. Mid-continental belt. The Alpine earthquake belt extends from Java to Europe through the Himalayas, the Mediterranean and out into the Atlantic. This belt accounts for about 17% of world's largest earthquakes. Mid-Atlantic ridge. 
the third prominent belt follows the submerged mid atlantic ocean ridge the ridge marks where two tectonic plates are spreading apart a divergent plate boundary the remaining shocks are scattered in various areas of the world now let's have a look at the effects of earthquakes the primary effects of earthquakes are ground shaking ground rupture landslides tsunamis and liquefaction fires are probably the single most important secondary effect of earthquakes ground rupture it occurs when the earthquake movement along a fault actually breaks the earth's surface liquefaction is when sediment grains are literally made to float in ground water which causes the soil to lose all its solidity it can cause buildings to crash and fall if the epicenter of the earthquake is below oceanic water and the magnitude is significantly higher it can cause tsunamis now lastly let's discuss about earthquake zones in india the whole country has been divided into four zones according to the seismic zoning map of india prepared by bureau of indian standards Out of these zones, Zone Five exhibits the highest seismic risk, and Zone Two has the least. Zone Five includes parts of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Kutch in Gujarat, Northern Bihar, all northeastern states, and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Zone Four includes Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, and Uttarakhand, parts of Haryana, parts of Punjab, Delhi, Sikkim, Western Rajasthan, etc. Zone three: Kerala, Goa, Lakshadweep Islands, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh, parts of Maharashtra, etc. And zone two: parts of Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, etc. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, note down the prelims questions that was asked in 2006 exam. Question is: Consider the following statements. One, the Richter scale is a logarithmic scale, and so an increase of one magnitude unit represents a factor of ten times in amplitude. Two, each integer reading of the Richter scale has an energy hundred times that of the previous integer reading. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. And now moving on to the main question. This question was asked in 2020 exam also. Question is discuss the geophysical characteristics of circum pacific zone. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.